My name is Frank Smithuis. Uh, I'm a medical doctor and I'm the director of MoCru, Myanmar Oxford Clinical Research Unit. And uh, we focus uh, mainly on uh, infectious diseases and uh, access uh, to healthcare in the most remote communities. The main problem uh, for malaria in Southeast Asia and therefore also Myanmar is um, falciparum malaria. Because falciparum malaria is, for one, is the biggest killer. I estimate it very roughly because not a lot of data are available. A yearly incidence of between 5 and 10 million. However, that has gone down substantially. And um, I don't know what it is at this moment, but I expect it to be um, maybe one to 300,000 cases a year. There is, of course, the problem of uh, resistance. The medicines that are used to treat malaria uh, in this region are uh, gradually not effective anymore. The parasite is becoming more and more resistant. This is particularly a problem in Cambodia, uh, Thailand and Vietnam. Actually in Myanmar, uh, artemisinin is still effective. Uh, resistance is uh, limited and the combination treatment, artemisinin combination treatment is still effective. So what we are focusing on in practice in the community is to treat people early. If you treat people early, then they can't transmit malaria, and that is very, very important. So what MOCRU and Medical Action Myanmar, the NGO I am working with, what we have focused on is to work in the most remote communities. That is where malaria is. And there are no healthcare activities there. So what we have done, we have trained community health workers, villagers, and we trained them how to use a rapid test uh, to test for malaria and then to give them uh, enough treatment. We provide them medicines, we provide them mosquito nets, we provide them with tests, but also very important, we keep on training them. When I studied medicine and I saw my first patient, uh, I didn't know what to do. I learned a lot, but I didn't know how to manage a patient. And there was a senior doctor that helped me and guided me along. It's the same for community health workers. We can train them, but at a certain moment, they need to see patients together with a senior person. And that is what we do. We send a team every month to all these remote communities, and they see patients together. And that program has been very, very successful. Malaria has decreased on average in the communities where you work by 70% per year. And that has gone on for six, seven years now. But we have to prove to the world, to the Ministry of Health, to, to other players, what works and what not works. I think that's very, very important. I can be convinced of something, but if I don't have proof, then it's very difficult to ask other people to implement the same. So that's why when we do activities, we measure the results, we compare it with when we do not do these activities, and then we have something in hand. And with these results, we go to the government, we go to the Ministry of Health, and we show the results. That has led several times to a change in the treatment protocol. So that's basically it. We do research and we try to change policy. It is actually very much related to direct service delivery to the people. There is not so much malaria anymore. So people say, so why focus on malaria? Well, if you want to eliminate it, you have to eliminate the last parasite. That's actually very difficult. You can see it with polio. There's very little polio in the world. But when you drop your activities to contain polio and to eliminate polio, polio will come back. That's the same with malaria. If we stop now, or if we stop in the next few years, malaria will come back. And then it was all for nothing.